everybody, it's Taff. I am in the middle of packing to go to LA for a week. I'm going to Anime Expo, so I thought it would be a great idea to do a What's in My Travel Purse video. Uh, this is going to be going up while I'm in LA, so if I'm slow to respond to comments, I'm sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, I thought that would be a fun thing to do since I'm traveling again, and I got really good responses to my last travel video, so let's jump in. So this is my travel purse. It has these handles on the top and then it also has a large strap and that's actually why I got the purse. I've been using this one for about a month now and I've got it specifically for Generation Beauty. Prior to Generation Beauty, I didn't have a larger crossbody bag and I wanted something that was gonna be easier to carry. And I liked it so much, I've just been using it every day ever since. So this one is by Olivia Plus Joy, which is a brand I really wasn't familiar with before I got it. I got it at TJ Maxx and I just really liked it. It's black with gold detailing and one of the things I really love about it is that it doesn't have a back. Let me show you. So here's the front, it has the designer here, it has a little pocket here which I end up usually putting my receipts in. And then on the back it has some really cool detailing here. And that means that whichever way I put it on, it doesn't really matter. So. This is kind of the overview of what's in it. It has a gray lining that says Olivia plus Joy. And then it has two pockets on this side. I mean, you can't see the second one very well. And then it has a zippered pocket on this side. So first thing in the body of the bag is a thing of water. What I typically do when I go on trips where I'm flying is I will buy a bottle of water once I get past airport security and I will refill that bottle for at least a few days and then I'll buy another bottle and start refilling that one. Keep in mind though with these that if you reuse them too much then the plastic can start to leak into the water which really isn't a good thing so only reuse it you know for three or four days before you switch it out and then next in here of course is my phone this is the galaxy s3 i have a pink double coated solaris case on it and then it kind of goes along with my phone it's my ipod touch and my headphones i know a lot of people listen to music and audiobooks on their phones but i really don't like the music and audiobook interface on android so i still use my old ipod touch i think it's like the third generation or something like that this thing is like seven years old and it is a trooper so I listen to all of my music all my audiobooks and just to note I've been listening to audiobooks for 20 years so I got you all beat next is a pair of sunglasses this is just a really cheap pair that I got in San Francisco they have these cool little flirtily details on them. Next, of course, I have my wallet. This is a coach wristlet that I got at Macy's. I actually found this on clearance a couple years ago, and the thing I really love about this wristlet is that once I open it, it's big enough for me to fit my phone in, so if I'm ever in a situation where I you know, I'm out and I don't want to bring my purse. I have my phone, I have my cards, my money, and I am set to go. And then next I have this little baby, which is actually my 3DS. I really like putting it in this little Ipsy case. I feel like it looks really sleek inside my purse and it also makes it not look like it's a $200 gaming system, which is in there. So not that it's going to keep it from getting stolen, but I just feel a little safer with it. Next I have reading glasses. I barely ever use these, but I always carry them with me and typically actually when I'm on trips once I get there I'm gonna take this out of my purse and just keep it in the hotel room actually same with the 3ds this is primarily for traveling at the airport I think in my last what's in my purse video I had this in my purse and since then I have stopped carrying it around all the time next is a hairbrush just you know if I need to touch up while I'm out somewhere uh, really good to have and then my keys of course I have a power bank charger for charging my cell phone. This has about two and a half to three charges in it, which is really awesome. And it also has a built-in cord. So I can just charge or plug this into the bottom of my phone. It fits really nicely on the back and I can go along my way if my phone is really low on power. I have ibuprofen. I always keep this with me just in case I get a headache. I try not to take it if I don't need it, but when I take it, I need it and I just, I need it then. And then last but not least in the big body pocket, I have a Laura bar in case I get hungry. This is the chocolate chip cookie dough flavor, which is absolutely delicious. But whenever I travel, I always take a bunch of these because um, I feel like they're one of the healthier bars that you can get um, that isn't super expensive. They don't have a ton of added sugar. They're sweetened with dates and they have all good stuff in them. So that's the body of the bag and then I'll go into these small pockets on the side. So in the first pocket I have a little package of tissues in case I need those. I also use those for napkins. They're very handy. 
Then I have a business card holder, and I, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I volunteer with an anime convention in the Portland area, and so I have my business cards in there. And then I have a little thing of Altoids in case I need mints. And in the other pocket, I have Dasani Drops, which is something I just bring with me while I'm traveling, especially if I'm traveling to an area that does not have very good water. I'm very spoiled. In Portland, we have amazing tap water. There's really no reason to buy bottled water. But in a lot of parts of California, or really anywhere I travel, the water's kind of disgusting from the tap. So I bring this so it's palatable, so I don't get completely dehydrated. So now I just have the little zipper pouch left, and this pouch is mostly makeup, but I keep a couple of pens in there just because it's an easy place to keep them. So let me grab those out really quick. I just have whatever pen I have in there. And then I also have a little mini Sharpie. I used to keep a full-size Sharpie, and then I got this from Generation Beauty. And I just realized it has Generation Beauty by Ipsy on it, which is adorable. I don't know why I didn't realize that sooner. But anyway, this is just the perfect size to keep in my purse. Now I have all of the makeup and beauty items that I carry around with me all the time. Probably the most boring is a hair tie and a bunch of bobby pins. I just keep the bobby pins around the hair tie so that they don't get lost. Next is this stuff. This is Brush on Block. It's a powdered sunscreen has a little brush, it goes down like this, and then you can open and close it with this little thing right here. And then next I have my lip balm that I've been using. I think I talked about this. This is the Pure Plant Origin Chap Defense Lip Balm, and it has tea tree oil on it. This stuff saved my lips this spring. And then I have my lip gloss of choice, which is the Menthol Lip Balm from Bath & Body Works. This is actually going to be put into my gels bag um, for security, but I'll take it out right after. And then I have a little thing of sunscreen for the rest of my body in case I need that while I'm on the go. Again, this is going to go into my liquids and gels bag. And now my purse is completely empty. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the video and put all this stuff back in because I am packing like a crazy woman. I'm leaving in less than 24 hours and I have absolutely nothing in my suitcase. So it was maybe a little weird to make this video, but I wanted to get something out while I was gone because I am going to be gone so long. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye!